All right, people, so this is the brand new Sony Xperia 5 Mark V. And over the next few days, I'm going to be taking this thing on a bunch of really cool shoots for me to show you guys exactly what it's capable of. And as always, I'm going to be taking you guys with me every step of the way for a first glance of what this thing can really do. Ah, okay, so you might be thinking, hold up, didn't Sony just release the Xperia 1 Mark V a few months ago? And the answer is yes, they did actually have that here in my pocket. And I did make an entire video on this thing over on my channel. So feel free to go check that out, whatever it is, only after watching this video, of course. But anyway, I'm here to sort of help you guys understand which phone might be right for you. They each have different things they can do. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's take a quick look at what these things have in common, and you might just be surprised. All right, guys, so straight off the bat, both of these things have the ability to shoot in 4K, 120 frames per second. And honestly, every time I hear that, it really does blow my mind especially when you combine this with the S Cinetone capabilities or Sony's own creative looks. We've also got that real-time eye autofocus for both humans and animals, which comes straight from the Sony Alpha technology, which is absolutely crazy, especially when you pair that with the object tracking. Literally, you've got no excuse to miss focus. Next, we've got the insane ability to shoot in 30 frames per second, and I'm really gonna be putting that to the test later on in the video, but my actual camera can't even do that. And finally, of course, we cannot forget we've got that next generation image sensor, which is perfect, perfect for night photography. Uh, and as a night photographer, this is my absolute dream. So best believe we're really gonna be putting that to the test. So in terms of lenses, you can probably see there's a slight difference here. Uh, we've both got a 16 mil and a 24 mil and they both come in at 12 megapixel quality. Now, the first obvious difference with these two things is the size. So the original 1 Mark 5 comes in at a size of 6.5 inches, whilst the 5 Mark 5 comes in at a slightly smaller size of 6.1 inches. So of course, there are less lenses on the 5 Mark 5 than compared to the 1 Mark 5. Uh, this is because we no longer have the 85 to 125 mil true optical zoom lens, but Sony haven't left us hanging here. They've actually kitted us out with a 48 millimeter, which utilizes the 24 mil and pixel binning technology. All of that goes over my head, uh, but yeah, you get the picture. All right, so now that we have addressed all of that, all the specs right the way, you guys know exactly what we're gonna be shooting with. I think it's time to get into the video and show you guys exactly what this thing can do. So please enjoy. All right, people, so we've just arrived at location number one for the day. We're actually gonna start things off by doing some portrait photography. Now, I don't often do portraits, but when I do, they are usually quite fun. Uh, I've met up with two of my friends. We've got Simone behind me and Nicole, and Nicole is kindly gonna be doing some modeling for us, which is gonna be a lot of good fun. Um, so the phone actually has a built-in portrait mode, specifically in one of the cameras. It's actually the new digital bokeh mode. Uh, so this allows you to sort of control the depth of field within your photos, which is really nice. We've got a little slider which you can drag, which allows you to sort of control the amount of bokeh. So yeah, it should be fun. Uh, we've come to this lovely studio down here in London. Uh, and in terms of what we're working with, as you can see, we've got this lovely balcony area out here. And if we go outside, uh, we've got, you can't miss it. We've got St. Paul's in the background, one of my favorite buildings in the city. Uh, so I'm very much looking forward to capturing some photos of that. That should be very fun. Um, but yeah, without further ado, we're just gonna start creating, experimenting, and uh, let's just see what kind of cool shots we can get. Okay, so we've just come out to this lovely balcony area. As you can see, we've got Nicole behind me here. We've got St. Paul's Cathedral in the background looking lovely. Uh, we've just been playing around with the different uh, settings you can do. We've got two lenses which you can use the bokeh mode with or the, um, the digital bokeh mode with. Uh, we've got the one time zoom and the two time zoom. Uh, I really like the two time zoom purely because you get that lovely compression with St. Paul's in the background, which makes things look even more epic. Uh, you can also control the level of bokeh so you can get different variations of depth of field uh, and you can also adjust the lighting depending on sort of your conditions around you so yeah it's going well We've got some great shots so far and now we're going to move on to try and get some more creative portraits all right guys so I've been told that there's actually a rooftop as part of this studio I'm just gonna go and check it out now um, to see if it's worth shooting so let's go whoa okay 
This is unreal. Oh, what? oh God. <laughs> this is actually crazy. Look at that view behind me. St. Paul's in the background. We've got all this stuff up here which we can sort of use to shoot portraits. This is actually crazy. We're definitely gonna do some shots up here. I'm gonna get the others. All right, people, so today I'm gonna to be showcasing the 30 frames per second burst mode. Uh, and I thought what better way to do that than to shoot some kind of more extreme sports kind of stuff. So we're gonna be shooting some bikes today, uh, specifically this red dirt bike here. We've got my friend Rowan, who's a rider and he's gonna be sort of just ripping it about uh, in a forest. It should be cool. We're gonna spray up some dirt, water, all that kind of thing and hopefully um, the phone should hold out pretty well. It'll be a good test for it. Um, so we're just gonna head there now. I'm super excited. Um, but yeah, it should be fun. So we've just arrived at our location. We've come to this really cool open forest area. Um, we're gonna be starting off with doing some donuts. We've got, we can do some figure of eight. I say we, it's all gonna be, it's all gonna be rowing. I'm gonna be shooting on the phone. Um, I'm hoping the burst mode should be able to sort of capture all those moments. We've got 30 frames per second, so literally we should be able to capture every single moment as it goes down. Um, but yeah, we're just going to get stuck into it straight away. I'm going to whack on the GoPro on my chest uh, so that you guys can see exactly how this thing performs and what kind of stuff I'm shooting. Um, but yeah, it should be pretty sick. Uh, so let's just get straight into it. So we've just been playing around uh, for a few minutes. I'm absolutely covered in mud, water, everything. Um, but we thought we'd spice it up a bit. We've got some smoke grenades uh, that I bought recently. We're thinking whilst uh, Rowan's doing the donuts, we could whack the smoke grenade in the middle, create like even more of a hectic scene. Uh, I don't actually know if it's gonna look good or cool, but I thought I might just try it, because why not? That is crazy. Oh my God. That is so good. Oh my God. I just got covered that time. That was a good one. <laughs> cool. All right, mate, take care. All right, so we've just wrapped up the shoot. Uh, it was a lot of fun and I actually ended up getting absolutely soaking wet, covered in mud. There was a point where I literally just got fully covered in water as he went through this massive puddle. But the shots looked absolutely unreal. I'm super excited to go home and edit them, uh, and you guys have probably already seen them now, but I had a lot of fun. The phone held out really well. The burst mode was absolutely crazy, capturing all those individual moments. But yeah, that's a wrap. Okay, so we have just arrived at the final location for our final shoot. Uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys the night mode or the low light capabilities uh, on the phone. So the idea for this shoot is, uh, we have my car here and we put it in this rather open field here. We've got a bunch of long grass, 
we're gonna wait for uh, just after sunset, maybe like blue hour, shoot a bit of nighttime, uh, and then we're just gonna see if we can get creative. We've got some, uh, some haze, we've got some smoke grenades, we've got some cool lights, and obviously we've got the car and the field, and we might add a subject as well, just to make things extra cool. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna get set up uh, and sort of see what the best thing to do is, but yeah. Okay, so as you can see, it is now a lot darker. The conditions are changing very quickly. Uh, we have here this magic spray. It's basically just like mist spray. So basically what I'm thinking is I'm gonna come down here, spray it around Greg, and as you can see, the headlights of the car pick up the mist really nicely, super cinematic. I'm gonna crack the phone out uh, in a couple seconds. We're just gonna get shooting straight away before we lose all this light. Uh, yeah, it's looking pretty sick. All right, people, so that pretty much wraps up an entire week of shooting on the Sony Xperia 5 Mark V. And I think it's pretty safe to say that we covered a lot there. So this thing not only performs extremely well in low light with a new and improved sensor, but the burst mode is actually something that really, really impressed me. Uh, I was really, really surprised with how it literally captured every single moment. You literally hold your finger down and it just bursts and shoots so many pictures so you're never gonna miss a moment. And also the new and improved bokeh mode was also something extremely satisfying to shoot with. Uh, and I believe that this digital bokeh mode will be coming via a firmware update to the original One Mark V. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, bottom line is these things are getting scarily good now. Uh, and I'm very interested to hear which one you guys think you'd prefer, either the original One Mark V or the new Five Mark V. It's a tough choice, but I'll leave that one down to you guys. So please feel free to let me know down in the comments. But yeah, I really hope that you guys did enjoy this video. I had a lot of fun. Uh, experimenting with these things, taking them on all types of shoots, uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching me too. So, without said and done, I will catch you in the next video. Peace.